Hey everybody, this is Erin from Vixen Daily and today we're going to talk about 15 signs a guy does not care about you. Now, if you're watching this, you're probably wondering whether a guy that you're interested in or a guy you're dating in fact loves, cares about you or whether he doesn't. Now, maybe he's not answering phone calls or seems difficult, strange, and just off lately. Maybe there's been a shocking and abnormal shift in his personality or something about him recently that has shown you that he doesn't care and made you question everything. But the bottom line is you're extremely confused because he is sending mixed signals. So without further ado, I'm going to start giving you the 15 signs. Sign number one, you are his last minute option. What does this mean? Well, does he make plans with you first or are you the last person that he goes to? You can tell if you're a priority in a man's life and if he truly cares about you, he's going to choose you. What does this mean though? I'm not saying that he can never go out with his friends, you know, for a boy's night out, but if you're never put first in his life or invited to, you know, important things in his life, then it's a pretty good sign that he's choosing you last and you're his convenient last minute option. So that's an important sign. Sign number two, he's only interested in sex. How can you tell the difference between a booty call and a serious intimate connection? Well, it's actually shockingly simple. Sex is different when a man cares about a woman in contrast to having sex with a random hot woman a guy just met at a bar. Both are totally different animals. This illustrates the point that sex is not and never has been the be all end all in any relationship. If a man wants to have sex, it does not mean that he actually cares about you. A man will have sex with a woman and will want to have sex with a woman without actually caring. A man is very, very capable of doing this. It doesn't mean he's bad or evil. It just means that he is attracted to the woman. It does not mean he cares. So the point of this sign is just that you cannot look at him wanting sex as him caring. So... Sign number three, he does not introduce you to people in his life. This is a very important sign because if a man cares about a woman, he's going to want her to be a part of his life. So does he introduce you to his best friends, to his family? This is pretty major to see because it means he's integrating you into the important parts of his life. Sign number four, he asks, asks you to do things for him and refuses to do anything for you. Have you ever heard the saying that actions speak louder than words? Well, his actions show if he cares or not. Would he run an errand for you and bring you soup if you were sick? If yes, he cares. And if not, he probably does not. Now, I'm not saying he has to go be your errand boy to prove that he cares. However, if you really need him and would not, you know, and he would not lift a finger for you, then he most likely does not care, unfortunately. Sign number five. You always contact him first. Are you the one texting him? Are you the one calling him? Are you the one coming up with plans of things you guys can do together? If so, that's a pretty, you know, strong sign that indicates that he doesn't care. Now, all this means is that you're the one putting in the effort and he's not. It's a convenient situation for him. So look at that as an important indication of who's putting in the effort because in if you're putting in an effort, it means that you're investing yourself and your time and your energy, aka that you care. Sign number six, he never goes out of his way to do things to make you happy. This goes back to sign number four. The less a person does for you and the level of inconvenience they're willing to endure for you is a clear sign of how much anybody cares in any relationship. Making your girlfriend happy is a huge priority for a man if he loves her. You not only want a girl to be happy if you're the guy, I mean, anybody wants you know their partner to, to be happy whether you're a girl or a guy, but you practically need them to be. Making anybody happy feels good, so think about it logically. Making the one you love happy should, therefore, feel amazing. If he doesn't care enough to make you happy, then, I mean, he probably doesn't care much about you at all. Sign number seven, he doesn't ask you any questions about you and doesn't seem interested in who you are as a person. This is extremely important because showing a genuine interest in another human being is a clear, clear sign that you really care about who they are. And if you care about them, of course you care about who they are because if you don't know who they are, how do you care about somebody? You need to know the real human being. So 
if he cares, he will truly wonder about your life. He's going to be curious. He's going to ask you questions that serve a purpose, which is to get to know you better. Sign number eight, he is totally fine with you hanging around other men. Now, I'm not saying that he has to go psycho psycho and be a jealous, possessive nutbag banging down your door if you have a male friend. That is not necessary to prove he cares. That's a totally different situation and is kind of, you know, extreme. However, if a man is just letting you go out with whatever guy you want to whatever time you want and doesn't even flinch and has zero issue or even an, an inclination to keep you safe and check in with you at, you know, in some way, I would definitely take this as a pretty large, large red flag. So another sign is he treats you like everybody else. When a man truly cares about you, and this is very, very important, he's gonna treat you differently than he treats other people in his life. If you're someone that he cares about, that means you're special. You're not like everybody else. So look at how he treats other people, and are you just the same as everyone? And if you are, then he most likely doesn't really care. You should be special, and he should treat you differently. Sign number 10. He's not protective over you at all. It's basically part of the male DNA to protect their loved ones. It is literally biologically encoded in the male to be protective. So if your boyfriend sits idly while you get, you know, abnormally ragged on and criticized and insulted, he's either completely not interested and totally apathetic to your feelings or has zero testosterone. Not really, I'm kidding, but I'm trying to illustrate a point here that if your boyfriend is not protective, he probably does not Hair, or is the most passive person that has ever lived I'm not sure but in 99% of you know men they are going to care sign number 11 he does not talk about the future when a man cares and is invested in the relationship he's gonna bring up the future that you're gonna have together does he talk about long-term plans about moving you know across the country and not even acknowledge that he's gonna bring you with him uh that's a major red flag that he definitely doesn't care because he has no desire to take things, you know, seriously in the long run. If he's making plans without you in them, then I would be very worried that he does not care, to be honest. Sign number 12, he does not pay for anything. Okay, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that men have to be the ones that pay for everything. I understand that things are not like that. And, you know, equal contribution is what sustains a good relationship. Fine. However... There should be some sort of reciprocity, reciprocation with each other. That means give and give equally. That's the sign of a good relationship where both people care. If he has money, however, and is never paying, is never, you know, just paying once even for dinner, is kind of just letting you be the one that takes care of everything when he actually has the means to do so, then think about it. I mean, he most likely doesn't care enough because why would he waste his cash? He thinks that he's God's gift to the world and just spending, you know, one dinner with him is so great that, it, you know, he shouldn't even pay for it even when he has the means to. Now, it doesn't always have to be and is not limited to monetary. He can be giving in his emotional energy, in his attention and how he talks to you and what he does and how he appreciates you. It's simply the investing of the emotions and himself, giving something and making it equal. So, sign 13, tries to avoid any kind of serious topics of conversation. Okay, so men are notorious for hating emotional conversations, fine. But if he is going above and beyond to not discuss anything serious, even remotely emotional, any you know melodrama that he doesn't wanna deal with, then that's a pretty big sign that he does not really care about you. If he's avoiding any type of serious, you know, connection and conversation with you, it's a pretty, pretty huge indicator that he doesn't want to deal with the headache and the inconvenience of dealing with hysteria or emotions. And it's an unfortunate but major sign that he does not care. Sign 14, he has lost interest in sex. Now, it's normal to have a sex life that, you know, ebbs and flows and gets more intense and less intense, but if the sexual contact is non-existent, feelings are probably non-existent as well. It's not necessarily about the amount of times you have sex, but it's more of how the sex feels. You can have sex rarely as long as it's great and intimate. That's what you're looking at. 
Sign number 15, he seems to be actively looking at other women or possibly even pursuing other women. There is a huge difference between him checking out a woman just because she's physically attractive, this is normal, men are, bi men are biologically wired to check out other women and actually being interested in pursuing something with her. If your guys talked about other girls like they're somehow better or fantasizes beyond the initial just, oh hey, they're attractive, it's a bad sign, he probably does not care about you. Now, an obvious indication that he does not care is if you've caught him cheating, for example, you pretty much only cheat when you either don't care about that person or you have zero respect for them. So that's a major, major sign. So there you go. These are 15 signs that are going to be extremely useful for you to look at in your relationship or situation and see how he truly feels. Now, if he doesn't care, do not worry about it. It means nothing bad about you as a person. Don't take it personally. Find somebody who cares about you the same way you care about them. Honestly, everything could be perfectly fine in your situation. You might have nothing to worry about. It could be a totally external factor or a stress in his own life. But if you're seeing several of these signs and there doesn't seem to be any major stress in his life causing him to withdraw emotionally, then these signs are a strong indicator that he doesn't care about you. There's a link to, in the description to the full article to know when a guy doesn't care and what to do about it. So I'd recommend that you definitely check that out now. And also, if you feel like your love life isn't where you want it to be, I want you to know it doesn't have to be that way. There are literally hundreds of in-depth articles written by experts on VixenDaily.com to get the love life you really want. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up. And for more great love tips, subscribe to the channel and check out our other videos. Thank you, everybody.